morning YouTube we are on our way today for our first installment to our new series or at least my new series that I'm gonna bring to you guys and I've explained it in my last two videos a little bit to you and uh, the name I've come up with is on the road with aquatic madness that's kinda corny I know I know but it's uh, that's what we're gonna name it and uh, today we're going to see one of uh, the uh, closer local uh, hobbyists, uh, Lloyd Baker. Uh, he is also on a few of the forums there in Facebook. And uh, he has been a customer of mine, uh, buying a lot of my stock, uh, my fry. Uh, he's gone in on a few, uh, a few um, orders from Raps and Gage in the past. And he also has a, uh, a male Red Islitus, a uh, female from my original pair. And then a male from a uh, friend of mine, Mike Mann, uh, who you uh, most of you probably know, uh, Mr. Mann on Facebook, um, took a, sent me over a nice uh, male and female red as and uh, I needed a female, so I'm going to take that, or I took that male and uh, gave it to Lloyd so that it could pair up with the female from my original pair. So anyway, long story short, he's got some nice fish. She's got a beautiful wild caught pair of uh, convicts that uh, I'm dying to see in person. Um, hopefully we get to see all of his tanks. I know his wife said that uh, we're not going to get to go in the bedroom. But uh, we'll see. But anyway. Onward and outward to Lloyd's place, and uh, I should be there shortly, and we'll get this thing started. Peace out. See you in a bit. We're cruising up to Lloyd's place right now. Gotta love this beautiful, wet sunshine we are having. Turn left. Your destination is on the left. Ah, there it is. Right there. All right, see you guys inside. All right, YouTube, here we are at Lloyd's house. Hey, Lloyd, say hi. Hey. <laughs> uh, what we're looking at here is his real mag pair. And I've heard all about this guy right here. And uh, I you know you can only talk so much about your fish until you actually see them. This guy is, I'd say, about 16 inches. Beautiful, beautiful. There's his little female. So how long have you had these, Lloyd? Uh, probably eight months. How big was it, were they when you got them? I got the male about six inches, and the wow. female was what, four and a half, five. So he's put on, he's probably gotten, yeah, he's, he's huge. He's even taller than six inches now. Yeah. And they got fry in there right now. That's a lot. I'd say easy a thousand. And it happens about every four to five weeks. That's a beautiful color, beautiful pair of convicts you got there. <laughs> Biggest ones on the west coast for convicts. <laughs> he is a beauty. Now I see why your wife likes him. And you picked him up at AP? Picked him up at AP, talked to him for probably six months before he'd sell it to me. Nice. And you wanted, originally you wanted that female too, right? I did. And he wouldn't go for it? Nope. He beat the female up, and this female came from Mel. That's right. Is that the female that I... Yep. Right on. That's the one that I told you also was being a little little bitch. Excuse yeah. my language. She's nasty. <laughs> and so she's able to survive. Oh, look at her move that. So I get this out of my way. That was awesome. Well, and then here, what do we got in here? 
You got their fry from about four batches ago. I haven't yeah. collected any more fry because I was growing these out. And then some mixed in with some of my uh, F1 yellow cons from Raps. And that's from that wild caught set that he got not too long ago, right? Correct. And there's a female cutter eye in there too. It's probably about three and a half inches. But she's hiding right now. I'd have to grab a couple of these babies from you. Dad is a beast. Sweet. I'll put, some, I'll put some blood worms in here and then you can watch the cutter eye come out. Sounds good. So nothing fancy with filtration, just hang on backs and canisters. Yep. Nice. So do you like the Marine Land? Is that the Marine Land or is that the... Uh... Down below? Yeah, what kind Cascade. of... Cascade. Cascade. You like Cascades? It's my first attempt. I had an FX5 on this tank, running without any hang on the backs, without anything. And then I gave it to a friend to cycle his tank. In Eastern Washington, never got it back. And he likes it. He loves it. <laughs> so then I went to two hang on the backs and the Cascade 1500, which seems to do about the same work as a FX5. Yeah, with just a pair. That's about what I've got in with just, you know, my pair tanks. It's like your female uh, caught herself in there. Nice, let's go here. Hold you guys in a little too far. I'll move that log out of the way and then you can see that cutter eye. I think she's hiding in there. So we just picked that up just to be, just to have it? I did, I picked up, they said it was a breeding pair, it turned out to be two females. And this female, they both laid, laid eggs in two separate spots, same time, got into a big fight in a 55 gallon. She came out on top. So I kept her. Nice. She nice. gave the other one to a friend. Let go. There she is, in the corner. Where? All the way in the left hand corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's a good sized girl. I bought it because of the blue eyes. Love the blue eyes on yes. it. Yes. I believe all of the Crypto Heroes, or a lot of them, have the blue eyes. The Sajikas, Keterai. I believe Tom out in Pomeroy has a, a rare uh, pair of something. She's been in here for about a week, so she's still not running the tank. She still don't know what to do. Sweet. All right, we're gonna another look at the big guy because this guy's awesome. Hey, dude, you want to go in the tank with my Dova? You guys can be buddies. He'd love to come swim in one of your big tanks. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, well, let's Outward head on side. inside. Taking a look at his uh, busy what size? One twenty-five gallon. Yeah, overcrowded. 125. We'll call it busy. I have some busy tanks too. So all right, what do we have in here? You've got two of your Red Devil grow outs right here and here. We got one that's peeled, one that's about to peel. Peel. Now did those come from each batch or did I get those out of the same tank? You got them out of different batches for me. Okay. To try them. Then I've got my three Islatus. She's a female from you. I got second hand from somebody else. Okay. This is the one I got from you. She's recovering from an from injury she had about a month ago. And that's still. from my pair, right? From your pair. This is the one I got from you recently that doesn't have, wasn't from your pair. Okay, and that's the male that I picked up from Mike. Yeah. Oh. He doesn't and, want that little female. He wants to, and he's smaller than the uh, than the female you got from me, correct? Yes, he is. Yeah, quite a bit smaller. And they're, 
this morning they dug the holes they're ready to start breeding so mm, she don't care she wants to breed with them nice yeah she's not too picky i don't think and i've got a cross eye in the back that's the one you just picked up recently recently and it's an eye biter which is unfortunate you can see a lot of scraped eyeballs because it's going after eyeballs like crazy that's too bad i've never had them they're beautiful fish but i've never had them do that i haven't either that is, uh, that is too bad these i picked up about three months ago they're actually a hybrid i bought them as dithers for some other fish i was growing out got them from a guy on the box they are zonatus black belt cross oh those are those uh from uh, nate from Nate. Yes. And I liked them, so I just ended up keeping them and growing them. And then a sin. It's a nice looking sin. Came from Nate as well. And that one is a the piebald. Ah, uh, that's a fan. Beautiful piebald minestratus. Where'd that come from? I wonder. <laughs> Probably from your fish. Uh, I'm going to have to keep a few of those because uh, they, they don't look, you know, anything special small. But when they get larger, those colors in the piebald really starts to come out. You can't see very well in the video how red her head is. Maybe you can, but it doesn't look like it. I'm going to take some pictures as well. But I think they're awesome looking. Then I've got a lion's eye over there in the corner. Came from Anthony, who's on uh, YouTube too. Gotcha. Got a 13 inch sail fin that's hidden in the back behind a rock. You got a, you got a rainbow in here as well. Yeah, that was a leftover of somebody gave my son and then that one was picking on his smaller dwarf rainbows so we ended up putting it in here that'll be in here for a couple more days before it goes to uh, David uh, yeah, Dave's gonna stick him in his big 210 yep I'm gonna grow him up with his his clan and somewhere in here you can kinda see underneath that red colored rock is a spotted Raphael cat uh, and you got a feste in there too yep one of your oh. festes oh and she's nasty yeah. she holds her own at that size it's doing well. But I'll be shortly, hopefully, getting rid of quite a few of these fish to make room for these. There's a lot of to breed. Yeah, once they, uh, once they lay the eggs down, they're going to start laying the smack down. Nice, though. Yeah, it was all nice. landscaped and beautiful, and they've knocked rocks over today. They dug things, knocked wood over. It's a nice shot of that cross eye. Yeah, he's beautiful. Sweet. He actually put a bark, bite mark on that lion's eye you can see over you there. You see it on the forehead. Yeah. He bit right when he got into the tank, first day. Nice. So what do you have filtering on this one? This one's got two, a Cascade 500, another hang on the back, and then I bought this guy, the Aqua Top one CF500 of those, with the UV. One of those Sun Suns or whatever they call them, I guess. Yeah, this is the actual Sun. Aqua Top name brand, but gotcha. basically the same. Same thing. Same thing. How are you liking that? A lot of people on Facebook ask questions on, you know, opinion wise. I liked it at first, but I had to put the hang on the backs on top afterwards because with all the fish obviously I'm running now, right? With how busy it is, that doesn't hold up to its end. It said it goes up to like 200 gallons, but right. I would yeah. say 100 gallon max, and that's white stock. And yeah, so you got a busy tank, so so it'd be good for this tank if the stock wasn't yeah. as much. Okay. It's got good flow. Uh, nice. Well, sweet. So which one of these is your favorite? In here? They're out of all of them. Oh. Right now, my big real mag's my favorite, but I love them all, and that's why I haven't gotten rid of any <laughs> of them. Because it's hard to choose, isn't it? It's hard to choose. The Islatus are are some of my favorites. I've had those for quite a while. I've had that female for a long time now, a year and a half, I think. She's a beauty. Uh, and she's she doesn't look that big right now, and with that scraped up eye, she's not looking too hot. But she uh, she's probably ten ten and a half inches, you know, good size. And I like that sin when he comes up and he gives that color. He looks real good. You know, if I, I feed gets him. A, gets a little more in the light. Yeah, if I feed him, they'll come up and.
They love that Southern Delight. <laughs> that was my next question. So you feed them Southern Delight? You I feed them right now what, the large cichlid? It's a large or cichlid with mixed with some growth pellets into them. Nice. Because uh, the Australian rainbow couldn't eat the large cichlid. So I threw some growth pellets in there so it could get it in its mouth. So any, uh, any future plans or anything that you're hoping to uh, achieve in the future? Oh yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a huge, huge tank. I was gonna say, what'd you have to look for, your wife, to see if she's I was listening? Look, I was looking to see, <laughs> she's in the couch listening, so I wanna make sure she doesn't come but knock me out while I'm in the video. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd like to get a, I'd like to get a large wall size tank. So I could have more of a community like this is. Like, style a, tank. like an 8 footer? Like 2 240 type? Yeah. That's what, I'd love to have something like that. And do males because I'm not much into the breeding part even though my fish tend to want to breed. I, I hear you there. I think I want to do a eventually like a 500 plus gallon amphilophus tank and have all males. That way they can figure out their pecking order and we don't have to have any females disrupting the uh, the harmony? Mm -mm. Well, that is uh, these are awesome, Lloyd. I get it from the best. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> you hear that out there, YouTube? <laughs> well, and uh, I'll go up and shoot a, a quick video of my 55 for you. I'm gonna have uh, Lloyd's wife will not let us into the bedroom, which is understandable. So Lloyd's gonna take you guys and uh, shoot the uh, the other tank with the uh, wild caught cons in it. My and we'll 55 be back. Fifty-five gallon tank in my bedroom. It's acrylic, forty-eight by fifteen. And here, that big con is my male wraps yellow con. And then they were super shy when I brought them up here. So you can see that I've added some calico cons that I had down in the garage along with a flower horn and a feste for the next week or so until they've become completely comfortable with this tank. I'm using the gravel from National Geographic. It's in between gravel and sand. I really like it. There's also a couple of bristle nose in that wood mess. And a fest day that I've got in there just growing out with the cons for now. But that's the female and the male right there in the middle. This is not doing it justice on the yellow coloring. And two Aquaqueer 70s on the back, just so you guys know the filtration. He's pretty big on talking about that, so I figured I'd mention that to you guys too. I've had this tank since I was 16. I'm currently 35, so quite a bit of age on this tank. And it'll probably be the one that I keep with me for the long haul.
my son's 40 gallon show tank in his bedroom he's got some dwarf rainbows a barb a catfish and a couple of angels